mentioning that that we're dealing with two people here. There's R. Kelly, the persona, and then there's Robert, the person. Myself and my daughter, we're connected to Robert, the person. So it is very personal, him being my ex-husband and the father of my children. So it's difficult, but I think that it is needed. It's saving lives. It's changing lives. My daughter is, right now, she's 21 at this time. I'm going to ask some questions after this. So if you can hold your questions, I'm going to ask a couple questions for people. So allow my family and friends to speak and guests to speak so we can have that honor to share and put this out here, okay? Thank you. This is my wife, John Jalen Savage. I'm John Jalen. It's spelled J-O-N-J-E-L-Y-N. Uh, the house that we're standing in front of in, uh, in front of today is the first time I've been at this location. But through the sources of Cheryl Mack, which was his assistant that uh, gave me information about the guest house, also I have pictures of where the house was inside this house where he resided, where he had rooms set up for like a hotel for the girls to stay in, and he also had a black room where he had, where they do different acts, sexual acts in, and then he had the separate rooms, three separate rooms, a total of four rooms in his house, which uh, they have the all identical like uh, set up. Uh, my daughter is severely brainwashed. She's brainwashed to the point where um, she says anything that he asks her to say. Uh, she's, she's not the same Jocelyn that we knew. When we um, met, I uh, I reached out to Diane Copeland the, and Alicia Evans, which are the madams that watches over the girls, and they would not give me any information about my daughter. So we just want him to release her and let her go on with her life because he's affected too many young girls over the years. And um, I just wanted her home and to try to get her rehabilitated to the Jocelyn that we know and miss. Ask with an underage girl surfaced and copies were being sold all over the United States. Sparkle was axed by the Chicago Sun. Annulment of the Aaliyah marriage and Aaliyah. It's the only way he could sleep comfortably knowing I wasn't going anywhere. And this was both when he slept with me and didn't. It was pure torture, but this... So you can see R. Kelly was extremely paranoid, even with this woman who was in his own backyard in his pool. So when you look back at Aaliyah lyrics and she's talking about incarceration, him keeping her incarcerated and watching her every move, trying to pick up on clues and playing 20 questions, you can tell you it was written based on what Aaliyah told Timbaland about R. Kelly handcuffing her and abusing and controlling her. It was right in front of our eyes. And I think this song was Aaliyah...